Welcome to another video by yours truly, Tony Solo. I've arrived back here in Budapest and I just want to bring something to your attention that's going to really get you to understand this whole thing about what others think of you and why it can stop you from the life that you want. Because the truth is, is that when you're not out there talking to the women that you want to, women are missing out on you. It's not because you're afraid to talk to them, because I'll get into that today. It's not because you're afraid to speak to them. It's because you're allowing others to dictate your every move. You are allowing others to tell you, without telling you, to not talk to this girl or don't approach this woman. And one of the main key reasons to this is just not wanting to take self-responsibility. And we're gonna get into what that really means because people may think of self-responsibility of, I can make my own choices, I can do what I need to do, I do have responsibility of my life. I'm talking about responsibility over yourself and what you do and how you allow others to affect you. Because this is gonna be the difference to you being free or you allowing others to dictate your life. Sadly, women, they miss out on you. They really do. If there's one thing that I know from going out there and speaking to so many women and having women in my life is that women missing are missing out on men. And I don't mean a beautiful woman walking down the street and men not giving her attention. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, if you're watching this video, I know something specifically about you. I know that you care about women. I know you care about who they really are. You also care about them sexually, of course. You wanna have sex with them, but you really truly care about the women. This is what I mean when I say women are missing out on you or women are missing out on men out there because, or you in specific, because the thing that I must tell you is a woman's struggle is finding a man who likes the way she looks but also is really caring about her, who really is interested in her, her sexuality, the way she is as a woman, her fears, what she enjoys, what she doesn't enjoy. Truly though, That's why I say you specifically if you're watching this video. Because if you know something about me, is that when I'm talking to a woman, I really care. Any woman that I'm speaking to, I find the enjoyment of the process. I find the enjoyment of speaking to this woman because I could have spoken to anybody else, but I chose to speak to her. So why would I not be there fully? Why would I not try to give myself totally to this woman? Why would I not be interested in her besides wanting to find out what she's like sexually? Because I am interested in that, I am. At a really deep level when I see her, I'm interested in her sexually, but also who she is as a woman. And that comes across in the way that I speak. So if you're watching this and you resonate with my videos and you watch my videos a lot, there is a part of you that wants that as well. There's a part of you that enjoys speaking to women, not for the sake of wanting to fuck them only, but you really enjoy speaking to women and you want to know about the woman that's in front of you specifically. Women are missing out on men like you. Men who would love to see them do what they love to do. Whatever, whatever that may be, whether that be mathematics, whether that be playing pool, whether that be playing volleyball, you're the type of man who would be like, I love when you do what you do. You're the type of man who would be interested in her and when she goes, 
all right, now I feel scared and I don't feel like I'm comfortable doing this. You're the kind of man who will still remain with the same type of interest in that situation. And that's what I find to be really enjoyable about you. But just because I find it enjoyable, this woman is pretty, just because I find uh, that enjoyable doesn't mean that the women out there wouldn't find that enjoyable. Because if you can see me from talking to women on the street, you see how they respond to me. You see how to respond to the things that I do. They really want a man who cares. That is a woman's struggle, really. Uh, an attractive woman, that is her struggle. Finding a man who is more interested in her than what she's showing. Because what she's showing is always gonna get her attention. It's always gonna get her what she wants, really. If she, if she really wants to, it will always get her what she wants, but it will never truly satisfy her. Because it's only skin deep, that's not enough. We are intangible, intangible creatures. There's no way that one side of that is gonna just be able to make a person feel happy. It's the both sides. So you have a special gift, my man. You have the chance to make the women out there feel like they are wanted, tangibly and intangibly. I think about a recent story that I have. I was in San Francisco and I met this woman uh, in the supermarket in Trader Joe's. It was crazy because I wasn't even thinking about meeting anybody, I wasn't. I was just like, you know what, I have to go to Trader Joe's or no, I have to go to Whole Foods before I go over to my seminar. But I, I've never been in Trader Joe's. So I was like, oh, you know what, I'll stop in there. Then as I'm walking through the store and I find what I need, I'm on my way out and I see a woman. And I lock eyes with her. And I think she's with this Asian dude, so I just like, all right, I'm gonna keep going. And then I turn around and I see the Asian dude walking off. So I'm like, yes, I can go in and speak to her. And I noticed that when I turned around, she was still locked eyes on me. So I went over and I, I was speaking to her and you know, right away I tried to say, hey, uh, can I go to your house and make this food with you? And she was a bit iffy about it. Uh, long story short, we were together and, and as we're talking, she just start going into how she likes the fact that I can see her on different levels. And this is a woman that any guy that I would say that's out there, if they're talking to women, would be happy to have sex with. But the only, the, I asked her, because she was standing next to me and she's just, she kept saying, you know what, I don't, I don't really like this because I'm getting attached to you already. And we had only met each other for like an hour and a half. And she was like, I'm already getting attached to you. I am. And of course, this tells me that, you know, I would never be with this woman long term. But she was just feeling the fact that I actually cared about her. Not only was I interested in her sexually, but I cared about her. That's the thing that was pulling her to me, that I actually cared. Because guys, she won't find it hard to find a man who wants to have sex with her. Very easy she'll find that. But a man who wants to have sex with her but who really cares, she will have to look for a very long time and women can sometimes really come across that, really. Truly, really come across that when they're attractive, really. And there was other parts of the story, but that's the main thing I want to tell you about that, is that she was just looking for that. She was more drawn to the fact that I was interested in her on all her levels, which means who she is totally, than the fact that I was interested in her as far as looks. Women are missing out on you. They really are. And this is not me just saying that so I can just make you seem like, you know, it's, it's time to go talk to somebody. I'm saying this because you have something, you have the chance to do something that most men will never do. That first lovely point brings me to this. You are actually not afraid to speak to women. You may find this crazy, you may find this a little bit confronting in a way, or maybe you don't believe it, but you're actually not afraid. You just care too much what people think, that's it. You care too much what people think. And if you don't believe me, get in front of a woman, any woman that you find attractive, and just start speaking. 
And as you're speaking, uh, sh notice what's going on inside of you. Notice if you're actually afraid to speak to her, which means you're actually afraid to speak to this woman in front of you, moving words out of your mouth, or are you afraid that when you say something, she won't receive it, or she may think you're a creep, or if you're, while you're saying something, the people around you will hear you. And nine times out of 10, you will notice that it's because of somebody around you hearing you and you're afraid of what they think or you're afraid of what the woman may think of you. This wonderful insight has given me the chance to notice something very profound. And that is, if a man is able to lessen how much he cares what other thinks of him, his, his chances of being more expressive goes up. There will be times I will be talking to women. I'll be on the street and I'm going down the street and, and I will see someone and as I'm speaking to them, immediately my attention would go in, boom, on this person looking at me. And I will be here with her, but simultaneously my attention is there. So it's in two places at once. Then I would notice that maybe there's someone sitting down right here, because maybe that person walks. But then I would notice there's a person sitting down right here, and then it will lock on to them. And it continued to do that, and the whole time, I couldn't express myself in the way I wanted to. It will continue to do this, and I would feel like, okay, I'm right here and I'm saying things, but I feel like the energy is not really there. I feel like I'm telling her these things, or I'm asking her these questions, but it's not coming from the place that feels charged. In some way, I, feel, I still feel scared. That's what I was going through. I still feel scared in some way, even though I know that I want to say these things and I want to act in a particular way, but I feel scared still because what if that person thinks that I'm a creepy man for touching her, for flirting? What if this person right here thinks that I'm not smooth? Because one of my main things is that I wanted to always look smooth. I never wanted to look like I was the guy who couldn't talk to women. Because I knew that I was the guy learning about this. And I didn't want people to know, to know that I was learning about this. So the way that it would manifest is, every time I'm in front of someone and I'm speaking to a girl, I would want the people around me to just perceive me as smooth. So I would stand in certain ways sometimes to make it seem like I'm smooth. I was speaking ways at times that sound like I was witty all the time. And every time I did this, I felt like it wasn't me. And this is something you may feel. You may feel like, I want to do this, Tony but I'm just too afraid of what people think of me. I would love to go speak to this woman, but I'm too afraid of what she thinks of me. And that's why I bring to your awareness, until you take self-responsibility, you will not be able to get away from what other people think. When I say self-responsibility, what do I mean? I mean taking complete ownership, complete ownership of what you do, but also what you don't do. That's what I want you to do. Take complete ownership of what you do and what you don't do. Because if you really want to know what's behind 
fear of what people think of you when it comes to women. If you really want to know, it's this. You are more interested in controlling what other people think of you than you are being here with this woman. And when you can't control what they think of you, they're controlling you. Because maybe you go up and do it, but at the same time, the person that's right there is controlling you. You're allowing them to control you because you want their good opinion so much that you're gonna give them the chance to control you in this moment. They're controlling the way that you're moving. They're controlling the way that you look at the woman. They're controlling the way that you act. It is literally just a power game of control. Those who really care what people think a lot, who really struggle with it, are also the ones who struggle with control the most. It is very hard for them to give up control because once they give it up, they have to take full ownership. They have to take full ownership for the fact that they're talking to this woman and they're allowing this other person to dictate how they're gonna speak. They have to take full ownership of that. And that's very hard to take full ownership of simply because we don't want to feel like other people are controlling us. We want to feel like we are in control of our lives. So for me to even tell you that you're allowing other people to control you, it makes you even feel like, no, 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 they're not. I'm in control of my own life because you want to regain control in this moment. But I tell you, just be a clean slate. Forget about what control means inside of yourself and just understand the simple truth that until you take full ownership of what you do and what you don't do, people will always control you or you'll always try to control them. You'll always try to control their thoughts, the way that they think of you. Are they perceiving you well? These are the things that start to roll through your psyche. Or what you'll feel in that moment is I can't do this because there's too many people around. And that there's too many people around, that's basically saying the people around me, they're controlling me right now. So when they leave and I don't feel their presence anymore, then I can stop being under their control and I can operate in the way that I want to. Going all the way down the rabbit hole and seeing the truth of this has allowed me to tell you right now that take self-responsibility because your life will continue on the way that it is until you do. My life changed when I started going, you know what, I really want other people to perceive me in a certain way, I do. I really want to control how others are thinking of me. I am under the control of others because as I'm in front of people, I can feel myself acting and doing things that I don't want to do. And I feel like they are the reason. Almost a victim mentality that a person comes from. And I was coming from that place as well. But when I started to notice that I can do something and I can just focus on what I'm doing, I can, as you guys know, my crazy video when I took off my clothes, I can care about what I care about. When I started to do these things, <clears throat> I started to free up on the inside. That freedom that one searches for in their life. The chance to express themselves in this moment in the way that they want to. Even if one feels scared, the chance to be able to still go, I'm gonna say this. I can feel them looking at me, but I'm still gonna say this totally right now. And it's even hard for me to say it totally, but I'm gonna do the best that I can right now. Because after this video, you're not gonna go out there and you're gonna, you're gonna simply be free from it, but this can give you the chance to see. It can give you the chance to do something different. It can give you the chance to take ownership of what you do and what you don't do. Because when you take full ownership over yourself, no one can control you or you can't control others because your awareness is not, your attention is not on 
how people are perceiving you or wanting them to perceive you in a certain way, your attention is on what do I want to express right now? I got to take full ownership of wanting to express this. And then if I don't express this, this is simply my fault because <clears throat> I allow myself to give in to the fear of what do people think of me. Allow this to give you great insight into yourself and all becoming someone that's more free. I understand this journey and what it's like to fear what people think, what it's like to walk around and not want to do things because maybe that thing will be weird or that thing won't be received the right way. I totally understand that. And you go, once I go to deeper, deeper and deeper levels, there's different things that show up for me. But wherever you are, I know that I've been there. And I can tell you right now, <coughs> forgive me for clearing my throat, I haven't ate yet. <coughs> Through that, the continuation of facing what you're afraid of, facing the part of yourself that you don't want to let go. You free yourself to be yourself. It's so enjoyable for me to be back here in Budapest, it really is. This is my favorite city in the world and for all my European guys and uh, guys who are close to me and wherever you are in this world right now, I look forward to helping you and seeing what can happen. Uh, pretty soon I'll be heading to Germany and I'll be heading to London so I can do my seminars there. Stay tuned to those. What I want you to do is that I want you to subscribe because once you subscribe, you can follow me. You can see what's going on. You can allow these videos to help you in a way that it's going to help you. In the meantime, though, I did make a free seduction course. That's everything from meat to bedroom. What do you do when you go approach and what do you do when she's at the doorstep? Totally free from you. Just click the link in the description box and it'll take you right there to put in your email. and You can get subscribed to my list where I give them free things every week. And please share this. Share this with anybody who you feel it's going to help. Because it will help somebody if it's helping you. That you know. Who you are is valuable for that which you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. This is Tony Solo saying, I'll see you guys tomorrow.